Uh, Mr. Buffett, in October of last year, you wrote in a New York Times op-ed piece that you were moving your personal portfolio to 100% U.S. equities. My question is, is that move complete? If not, are you still buying? And in addition to that, how would you rank the recent market downturn in terms of investing opportunities in, in stocks during your investment careers? Well, it's certainly not as dramatic as the 1974 period was. Uh, stocks got much cheaper in 1974 than they are now, but you were also facing a different interest rate scenario, so you could say they really weren't that much cheaper. You could buy very good companies at four times earnings or, or thereabouts with good prospects, but interest rates were far higher then. That was the best period I've ever seen for buying uh, common equities. Uh, the country may not have been in as much trouble then as we were back in September. I don't think it was, but stocks were somewhat cheaper then. In the recent period, I, you know, I bought some equities, and then corporate bonds looked extraordinarily uh, cheap. The spreads were very, very wide, so I, I bought some of those too. But the, the cheaper things get, the better I like buying them. I mean, if, if I was buying hamburgers at McDonald's you know, the other day for X, and they reduced the price to 90% of X tomorrow, not likely, but if they did, I'm happy. I don't think about what I paid yesterday for the hamburger. I think I'm going to be buying hamburgers the rest of my life. You know, and I, the cheaper they get, the better I like it. I'm going to be buying investments the rest of my life, and I would much rather pay half of X than X. And and uh, the fact that I paid X yesterday doesn't bother me if I get as long as I know the value is in the business. So, so on a personal basis, I like lower prices. I realize that that. Not the way all of you feel and that <laughs> when you wake up in the morning and look at quotes, but it just makes sense that, that when things are on sale that you should be more excited about buying them than otherwise. And lately, uh, when I wrote that article at the Times, I did not predict what stocks were going to do because I never know what they're going to do. But I do know when you're starting to get a lot for your money, and that's when I believe in buying. Charlie? Well, if stocks go off 40 percent on average, they're obviously closer to an attractive price than they were before. Uh, and of course, interest rates have gone down a lot recently, at least short-term interest rates. It's nothing like 73.4. No. I, I knew when that happened that that was my time and my only time. I, I, I knew I was never going to get another trip to the pie counter like that one. Unfortunately, I had practically no money available, which is... That's why that, it happens. That, that, that's why those times occur. Yeah. So if I were you, I wouldn't wait for 1973-4. No, we don't try to pick bottoms. or uh, but, you know, We don't have an opinion about whether the stock market's going to go tomorrow or next week or next month. So to sit around and not do something that's sensible because you think there will be something even more attractive, that's just not our approach to it. Anytime we get a chance to do something that makes sense, we do it. And if it makes even more sense the next day, and if we've got money, we may do more. And if we don't, you know, that what, what can we do about it? Uh, so picking bottoms is, is, is basically not our game. Pricing, pricing is our game, and that's not so difficult. Picking bottoms, I think, is probably impossible, but uh, when, you get, when you start getting a lot for your money, you buy it. And, and, and as I say, after I wrote that, stocks did get cheaper. The corporate bond market got very, very, very disorganized, uh, and we bought some fairly good-sized pieces of bonds for Berkshire, and I also bought... A, a few little things for myself, but I spend 99% of my time thinking about Berkshire. That's uh, so Warren. Yeah. By now, don't we have our small life insurance companies pretty well full of desirable debt instruments at 10%? We certainly have got a lot more of it than we had. Yeah. Now we've 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 we may we got a chance to buy some corporate bonds very very cheaply in my at least in my view uh, a few months back and and. Uh, we had money in life companies that can't be used in certain other areas and for which this was an ideal time to just barrel in. And, and any time we like to do something, we really like to do it. I mean, our idea is not to tiptoe into anything, so we, 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 we buy them as fast as we can when prices are right. Yeah, that bond thing it didn't last very long, nope. but there were perfectly safe bonds that yielded 9% or more with very fancy call protection. Yep. And some of those bonds are up 20, 25 percent. Yeah. So the opportunities are frequently under shell A when you're looking at shell B. 
Yeah, we try to look at all the shells. Yeah, we do. We look at all the shells. Right? Yeah.